why is Apple doing this? There's okay. a lot going on here. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. The, the thing to understand is Toshiba is the second largest provider of something called NAND flash memory. Why do you care about that? That's one of the most important components of the iPhone. That's the the medium which stores all of the data on the iPhone. Large expense there. There's only six makers of this technology worldwide. Samsung has 40% of the market. Mm. Apple clearly wants to keep Toshiba independent, wants to keep it uh, as, a, as a balance to Samsung's weight in the market and you know keep its cost down. That's simple as that, really. Now, Apple has for 10 years used Samsung chips. Why? This is the thing, if you, if you need a memory chip, whether you like it or not, you have to at least talk to Samsung because mm -hmm. of their massive market share. Simply put, they have the best production, they have the best technology, and they have the biggest scale. So they have a, an inordinate influence on pricing for those key components that Apple really cares, cares about. David, what's your take on this? Well, you know, Tim Cook's great talent has always been supply chain and logistics and you know he's hedging his bets in a critical way uh, obviously it's awkward that Apple has such dependence on uh, Samsung for not just these chips also screens and other components uh, that go into their key product the iPhone with which they compete with Samsung's own phones so you know there's a very logical competitive as well as you know supply chain hedging uh, strategy required here uh, and I, I think also it really strikes me th that Apple is getting better and better at understanding and utilizing chip technology as a competitive differentiator and you know the fact that they built watches that they just launched that are the same size as the last ones but now they connect to the wireless network that is a massive semiconductor win that th because they designed the chips. so these guys are getting better at chips they understand chips they're, they're big enough, $3 billion, it's a minor investment for them to have a guaranteed supply.